thinking about buying the Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter, but you're not sure what apps work and which ones don't, stick around and we're going to test it out with 11 streaming apps. Coming up next. This is a follow-up to the video I shot in August 2019 where I tested out the Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter with eight streaming apps. Got a lot of comments on that video and some requests for some new apps and some apps that weren't available at the time that that video was shot. I will leave a link in the description to that video if you want to check that out and see what apps were tested back in August 2019. But we're here again in 2020 running iOS 14.2, the latest iOS system on the iPad here, and we've got 11 apps that we're going to go ahead and check out and see if this Lightning to HDMI adapter is still working with these apps. So let's go ahead and start with Netflix. I'm going to go ahead and click play here. As you can see, the Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter does work with Netflix. Let's go ahead and check out Amazon Prime Video. Go ahead and click on a movie here. Let's go ahead and try Office Space. Give it a shot. As you can see, the adapter does work with Amazon Prime Video. Let's go ahead and go into Hulu here. All right, we'll go ahead and pick this movie right here on the home screen. It's loading up, but as you can see, the adapter is working with Hulu. Okay, up next, AT&T TV. This was formerly known as DirecTV now on the last video that I did, but has since been renamed to AT&T TV. DirecTV now worked on the last test. Let's go ahead and try AT&T TV. All right, now as with the prior DirecTV Now video, these will start in mute, but as soon as you unmute on the iPad, you will get sound on the video here. So AT&T TV does work with the Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter. Now let's jump into ESPN. This was the one app on the prior video that did not work. And we'll go ahead and go to some live TV here, see what's on right now. Let's go ahead and try to watch this football game here, Ohio State, Michigan State. And as you can see, you can click, but you're not gonna get live TV. As soon as you unplug the adapter, And you click on the video. Underdogs against number two Notre Dame. Rex Culpepper to Anthony Queeley. And it's Syracuse up 7-3 to three in the second quarter. Meanwhile, ESPN will work on the iPad, but as soon as you plug back in the cord, as you can see, the video will stop and it won't display on your TV. I could try one more time here. So ESPN, just like in my prior video, is not working with the Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter. On my prior video, we looked at HBO Go. It's been updated, another app under a new name, HBO Max. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if it works. All right, let's go ahead and try Spies in Disguise here. Click play. As you can see, HBO Max is working with the Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter. Now we're going to check out Apple TV, Apple TV Plus here. This was not available at the time. This is a new program with Apple here. It wasn't available in August 2019. We'll go ahead and check it out. So far, so good. Got a message on the iPad that this video is playing on the TV. Got the logo. We'll go ahead and skip ahead 15 seconds here. As you can see, 
the video is playing with sound. So Apple TV Plus is working on the adapter. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out Movies Anywhere. Got a movie here. And as you can see, Movies Anywhere does work with the adapter as well. All right, and now we're on to Disney Plus. This was another app that was not available, not exist at the time that I shot my first video. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see how it works with the adapter. Loading up here, let's go ahead and click on a movie. Load up Mulan, the live action. And we'll skip ahead here just so you can see the movie starting. So as you can see, Disney Plus does work with the Lightning to HDMI adapter. Okay, now we're going to check out Pluto TV. Let's see how this app works with the Lightning to HDMI adapter. In case you're not familiar, Pluto TV is an app that offers free content. It has live TV that's playing currently on the app and then also some on-demand shows and movies. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's loading up so far here. Pluto TV is working with the Lightning HDMI adapter. And finally, let's go ahead and check out Tubi. Tubi, similar to Pluto TV, has free content that anybody can watch without having to pay for a subscription. So let's go ahead and go into Tubi, see if this will work with the adapter. All right, go ahead and click on this movie here. Click play. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. As you can see, Pluto TV also works with the Lightning to HDMI adapter. Couple recommendations on this. I do have a 10 foot HDMI cord hooked up to my iPad, which does allow you to keep the iPad uh, by your side and be able to stream to the TV. Another recommendation, if you don't have a longer HDMI cord, would be to go ahead and pick up a Bluetooth mouse if you're using it with an iPad. It does make it easy to navigate and without having to have the iPad in your hands. One question I've got is about the charging. You can charge through the cable. There is an input for a lightning charging cable, so you can charge your iPad or your iPhone as you're watching the content through the adapter. Another question I've gotten too is downloaded content. You are able to watch downloaded content. I've tested it with Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, and Disney Plus, and I was able to get the movies to play with the phone in airplane mode, so no cellular connection and no Wi-Fi internet connection, and there was playback through the adapter. I can tell you I've used this adapter with multiple TVs, multiple projectors. I've not had any issues with either Hooking it up to the TV or the projector, I've used it with an iPhone 6, an iPhone 11 Pro, and this is the iPad 7th edition that it's hooked up to now. So I've used it with multiple TVs and projectors and also multiple iOS devices running different versions of iOS and found these apps to work under both versions and all the different devices. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you do have any questions about this adapter, about other streaming apps you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you own this adapter, let me know if you found it useful and what other apps you're using it with. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.